Hey guys, it's Joey, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these super cute watermelon cookies. So let's get started. The first ingredient that you're going to need is two cups of flour, a pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and two and a half teaspoons of watermelon jello. If you cannot find watermelon jello, I recommend the raspberry one. The second ingredient you're going to need is three quarters of a cup of butter, three quarters of a cup of sugar, one egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and red and green gel food coloring. Let's get started. So first you're going to want to cream your butter and sugar until nice and creamy. Once your mixture looks like this, it's time to add your egg. And then you're just going to want to cream that until it's smooth. Now add your vanilla and beat until everything is fully combined. Now go ahead and slowly add in your dry ingredients. I forgot to add this in earlier, but make sure to mix in your dry ingredients with a whisk really well. Mix in all your dry ingredients. Reserve half a cup of this so we can turn that part green. Now take your green gel food coloring and just add a couple of stripes here. And you can keep on adding it until you're happy with the color. So I'm just going to knead this in. Once you're happy with the shade of green, you can go ahead and set this aside. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on our red. So it is already red from the watermelon jello. That's why our green kind of turned out a little bit brownish. But it's alright. So we're just going to color this one red. And you don't need to use the jello if you really don't want to, but then you're going to have to add just a little bit more vanilla. So now you're going to want to roll your red part into a log just like I did, and then put it on some saran wrap, like wrap it in saran wrap, and then put it in the fridge for an hour to chill. Same with the green, but you do not have to roll out the green, you can just leave it as like a clump just like this. So it has been one hour and I and the dough has finished chilling. So I have just rolled out the green into a nice thin strip, but not too thin. And I just wrapped it in the on top of the red part. And so now I'm going to let this chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. And then I'm going to take them out and then I'm going to slice it. So my camera thing stopped working after I filmed that part with the, um, after the hour of chilling, I guess, after I rolled the red part and the green part. So basically what happened is after 30 minutes, I sliced them up into like cute little watermelon shapes. I stuck chocolate chips in them and then I baked them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 9 to 11 minutes. So that's basically it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe. And in the comments, let me know what you guys want to see me bake next. Alright, bye guys.